Hello again, Energy Fitness Winchester. My name is Chris. I'm going to take you through this workout. So for the next 30 minutes, we're going to be focusing on that chest and a little bit on the back of the arms, those triceps. So for today's workout, you're definitely going to need yourself some weights. Ideally a selection, but it's not the end of the world if you haven't. Um, and also if you have a bench or a flat surface, something that you can use to lie on or prop up against, all right? It's not a necessity. If you haven't got a bench, don't worry, we can make adaptations. So make sure you've got the space, make sure you've got your weights all set up. I'll give you plenty of time to get that all prepped, ready to go. All right, so let's get ourselves nice and warm to begin with. So just lie on those toes, there's that little bit of jog. So literally just going from side to side or on there, yeah? So just want to get that body nice and warm, ready to go. Then we're going to be focusing on that chest and the back of those arms. So let's go into a little bit of shadow boxing. So if you're a right hander, left foot forward, vice versa. If you're left hander, all I want you to do is just throw those straight. So left arm forward, right arm forward, forward with those arms. So flick between that jab and that cross. So a little bit light. So imagine you're aiming for that middle part of that body. Again, throwing those jabs and those crosses. So from here, you want to get a little bit harder. So start throwing them a little bit harder behind. And we're just warming up those shoulders. Give us the last few more. Perfect, back into that jog for me. So light on those toes. Keep into that jog, I just want you to take those arms forward. So circle them forward. That's it. So as you come forward, hands come pretty much together. Squeeze that chest down. Now let's do it backwards. So stay in light on the jog, all the way back. So now we're really opening that chest. Good. Right, from here, I want you to take it down to the ground. So push-up position, because we are going for those push-ups. So onto the toes, onto the knees, hands underneath the shoulders and shoulder width. So drop the chest down, drive up. Slowly down and push. If you need to, drop to the knees and up. Remember, this is just to warm up. Just getting that body prepped and ready. Good. A couple more. Nice work. So from here, I want you to just lie down on the floor. So all the way down. From here, just want you to get those arms up. So a 90 degree angle. I want you to come up, squeeze the shoulder blades, extend the arms up, come down and relax. So up, extend, back to 90 degrees and relax. So good, slow and controlled. Good, go for one more. Perfect, back up onto the feet. So all we need to do for the last little bit, just to get that heart rate up, we're just gonna go to the high knees. So we'll normally do the jog. Get back into that jog now for me quickly. And then for literally the last few seconds, we're just gonna get those knees literally up high, go for a sprint, and obviously that's us ready to go. So ready, three, two, one, let's go. So nice and quick. Just get those knees up, ready to go. Just making sure that body is warm. Good, and relax yourself there. Right then, so for this, we're gonna do it time-based. The reason we do it time-based is very much easy enough for us to push ourselves individually. So obviously I'm not gonna be there, I'm not gonna be able to know if it's too light or too heavy. So you're just gonna have to push yourself as much as you can. So for this one, we're gonna work 45 seconds up, 15 second breather, three different moves. So your first one, lying down to the bench. If you haven't got a bench, do it on the floor. So you're gonna have those dumbbells. You're gonna support those shoulders. Right, the shoulder blades are gonna come down. Elbows literally nice and low. Squeeze as you come back up. So down, pause, and drive up. So that's gonna be your first one. It's just a flat chest press. The second one is an incline press up. So, we do need something that's elevated. It doesn't even matter if it's a seat, sofa, anything like that. So you have hands on there. You can do this on you to your knees or onto your toes. You can come down and push. Just like a normal press up, just adding the incline, just shifts the emphasis on that chest. Last one, back onto that flat surface. You're gonna go into that chest fly. So this time the palms will be facing together. Slight bend in the elbow as you arc 
the arms out, so you want the hands to finish in line with that chest, and you come up and you squeeze. So slowly out, pause, and up. Again, if you haven't got a bench, don't worry, you can do this on the floor, you just can't go as far, but just get more reps done. So get yourself ready, because you're gonna get going in 20 seconds time, yeah? So nice and heavy to begin with, it is that chest press, really get those weights. You ready? So, I'm gonna do it with you. Pushing guys, well on. Right, so get those weights set and ready. Quickly get that timer. So, first round, we've got three of them coming in. Three, two, one. Let's go, lie yourself down. Push, that weight up. Slowly come down, two or three counts. Dumbbells finish outside the chest and you drive. So make sure those palms aren't facing together. You want the knuckles facing behind, palms facing forwards. So slow, powerfully on that way up. So if you've got a lightweight choice, just try and get more reps done. If it's heavy, just keep that slow control movement. And relax yourself there, good, 15 seconds. So for the next one, no weight, so we're gonna do that incline press up. So again, we're gonna have those hands on that elevated surface, do this on your knees to make it a bit easier, or we can come up onto those toes. Three, two, one, let's go. So down, and push. All the way down, and up. If you find you're gonna go halfway, and have to come up, drop to the knees. I wanna see that really big old depth so we can really open that chest. Slow down, pause, drive through. So breathe in on the way down, explode on the way up. You're over halfway and you've got 15 more seconds, all right? So if you need to, regress to those knees. If it means that you can keep yourself moving and we can just get a bit more movement in there. Three, two, one, and relax. So go for your next one, last one of the rounds, you've got your chest flies. So you might want to lighter weight choice if you can. Don't worry if you haven't got a selection. Just keep going with the weight you can, and do as many as you can. Palms facing together, lie back down, off we go. So we're coming out, slight bend in the elbow, and you're gonna drive back up. Make sure that lower back stays planted to the bench. What we don't want to do is as you come down, that back arches, all right, so drive that belly button down, stick it to the bench, go out as far as you can, and up. So we're gonna feel outside of the chest as the arms come up, up and squeeze to the middle part of that chest. And slowly, pause, powerful drive. Last one. Or two. Good, and relax. So 15 seconds, grab those heavier weights, we're going back for a second round, back into that chest press. So again, as the rounds progress, it's gonna get harder to maintain the same thing you did in round one. Just keep pushing, off we go. Second round, 45 seconds again. So again, down, drive up. So again, breathe on the way down, pause and explode, exhale on that way up. Another 45 seconds. So in position, five seconds time. Again, start on the toes if you can, rest the knees if you need. Take it away, let's go. So remember, you want that chest to finish in between those hands. If you're finding as you're doing it, your hands start to come up or they're too far down. Just shift the weight. So again, we finish, hands either side. So pretty much on the lower portion of that chest, 
you want that fingertip action. So coming down and up, yeah? So imagine your thumbs are coming in like that on a 90 degree. As you come down, you're pretty much brushing that nipple or near that area. So down, push through. Down, up. 10 more seconds. I know that chest should be feeling it now. So if you need to, last few seconds, keep going on the knees and relax. So going to round two to finish round two is those flies. So grab the weights, remember, palms facing together. We switch from that chest press. Rotate your palms inwards. Ready? Let's go. So out, pause, drive. You should be able to get a good eight reps here easily. So imagine you've got sort of two to three counts on the way down. Pause and drive. It should take about four to five seconds per rep. So you don't want to be just getting as quick as you can. Really focus on that movement itself. There we go, and relax. Good, so we've got one more round. So back in for this one again, eight reps. Try and aim for that minimum. If you've got a lighter weight choice, I want to see at least 15. Ready? Last round. Let's go. Oh, this time back down. Oh, these hates are feeling a bit heavier now. That's what you want. You know, beauty if you have a selection of dumbbells. As it gets tougher, we can always regress that weight choice. So you find you need to drop the heavier weights, grab the lighter ones, and just keep going. Again, all the way through this final round, round number three. Good, relax. Last two, incline press up, then that fly. So 90 seconds of work. Ready, in position, hands again, up on the toes, on the knees. Three, two, one. Let's go. So down, push, all the way down, and up. Okay, my chest is really feeling it, so I need to regress to those knees. If we are dropping to the knees, further away from the hand position, the more resistance you'll feel. Same again if you need to, walk the knees a bit closer, reduce the resistance, and keep yourself going. Just adjust accordingly to your ability 15 more seconds. I'm gonna finish off with that chest fly. Good, five, four, three, one more, two, one, and get yourself in position. Chest fly, again, lie yourself down. So if you are lying on the floor because you haven't got a bench or an elevated surface, don't worry. Just slowly come down, tap the elbows, drive straight up. Let's go then, last 45 seconds. We've got a two minute breather. So out, right up. That's it. So again, keep that tempo, two, three counts down, pause, drive up. Remember if that back starts to arch, don't go as far down. Just go as low as it allows you to. Last 10 seconds, two more at least. And relax yourself there, team, well done. So you can have yourself a bit of breather, grab that drink if you've got one, if you haven't, run away quickly, go and grab yourself one. So that's your first block. So that chest should feel sort of quite blue as you want it. So a nice little bit of a pump on it. So for the next one, again, sticking to that time base, we're gonna go for just two moves, we're gonna superset. So 30 seconds on one, straight in to 30 seconds on another. You're gonna have a 30 second breather, we're gonna do it again. So we'll do three rounds. 
So two back to back moves, 30 second rest. Two back to back moves, 30 second, two back to back, 30 seconds. All right, so the moves in question, if you can, or if you have an adjustable bench, I understand that this time not a lot of you are lucky to do so. If you have, you can just get it set up to that 45 degree angle. But don't worry if you haven't got one, because what we can use is again, a chair, sofa, anything that you can prop your shoulder blades up to. So the first one is an inclined chest press. So I'm gonna show you, for many of you who haven't got that bench, you can just prop those shoulders up against it, yeah? And then we're gonna literally drive up and down. Yeah, so we're not quite propped up, we're not quite let down, we're in that sort of middle section. So it's gonna work really up part of that chest. Just like a normal chest press, but again, drive it up, focus it on the top of the hips. All right, so it's gonna be 30 seconds of that, you're then gonna go into your pullover, so the same thing into that incline position. Again, if you haven't got the bench, do it on the floor. If you have, you're gonna grip the top, you're gonna to come down behind, biceps brush, and you're gonna come up. So as you come back, biceps pretty much brush the ears, and you're gonna drive back up. Slight bend in the elbow, so we can emphasize on the chest rather than the lats. So I'm gonna give you 10 seconds. Get yourself ready, I understand, not short, not a long amount of time. You'll be fine, honestly. So grab the weight. Incline chest press, 30 seconds, let's go. So down, drive up, down, up. So remember, if you've got the bench, this is the version. If you haven't, don't worry. Then you're just leaning that slightly back. Drive up, down, and up. So relax yourself there, into that pullover. So again, trying to grip straight into it, over and up. So maybe you want to bend in that elbow, keep it in that chest and drive. Wherever, drive on up. So you've got really light weights, you can do this with two weights. So one on each hand, coming back and back over. Again, you will feel it down the side in those lats, but it's still working that chest. Last one. And relax. Good, so 30 second breather. That's your first round done, two more to go. Is it too easy? Go a bit heavier. Is it too hard? Try and drop the weight. All right, so again, adjust accordingly. So we're gonna go for another minute. 30 seconds on one, 30 seconds on the other. We've got 10 seconds. Remember, if you're down on the floor, lean back, shoulder blades gonna be pinned. We're gonna press through the top of that chest. Three, two, one, up we go. So up, drive up. So as we do that chest press, you come down slowly, you pause, and you come up. This time those dumbbells finish more on the top part of the chest, just below those shoulders. Down, pause, and drive. If you need to, again, drop the weight, just keep moving. You've got five more seconds, all the way down and up. Get ready, let's switch it over to that pullover. So again, bend the elbow, drive it back up, over, and up. So the further you can go back, then the more you're gonna feel it. Same thing as those flies, you wanna keep that lower back pushed in. Yeah, so we don't wanna to have to arch our back to get the weight up. Slow and control. Imagine that back is stuck to that bench or that floor, yeah? Keep it going. And relax yourself there. Good. Simple this block, isn't it? Nice and simple. Minute of work, two exercises. We've got one more to go. So back into that incline chest, incline pullover, and then we're gonna finish off with another three exercises coming your way. So, 10 seconds. So again, yeah, sit yourself ready. Weights in the hand, three, two, one, let's go. So 30 seconds. Keep pushing through the palms, breathing. Explode on that way up. Ready? Drop the weights there, get ready for that incline pullover. Three, two, one, off we go. So again, over 
Hand up. Going all the way over. As far back as you can. Drive up. Remember, trying to lock those arms out. Slight bend as you bring that weight back. And up. Remember, as you're bringing it forward, just squeeze that chest. Down. Up. Last couple. And relax yourself there. Good. So, that's two blocks done already. That means only one more to go. So, for this last one, I understand that chest should be feeling it now. So, we're just going to drop that time we're going to be working for. So, 30 second work break, just like block two. We're going to have a breather in between exercise. Sorry. So, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So, for your first one, it's called a standing crossover. So, you want a nice little light weight choice. And start down by the side. So palms facing upwards. And all we're going to do, we're going to bring those arms up, squeeze that chest, and come down. If you want to do it alternating arm, you can do. You just want to finish that weight in the centre of the body. Otherwise, if you want to get more volume in there, both together and down. Your next one, try to use the same weight, maybe a little bit heavier. Again, we want that flat surface. So if you've got that bench, reduce it down. Otherwise, hit the floor. Just like that fly, palms facing together, but we're gonna bring the weights down, elbows brush the ribs, and you drive up. Yeah, so all the way down, pause, and then drive up. So that's gonna be your second one, and your last 30 seconds. Good old fashioned push up, just like we did in that warm up. Flat on that surface, again, all the way down, driving up, knees there as an option. So, get yourself ready. You have that standing crossover. Ready, three, two, one, let's go. So palms upwards, come to the center, and down. Up, squeeze, and down. Slight bend in that elbow as you come up, and down. So we don't want to lock the arms out, otherwise we're not going to work where we're looking to do. So up, squeeze, and down. As it gets tougher, drop to that single arm, Remember, squeeze and relax. So 10 seconds. Get yourself into that close grip press. So if you want to, add a bit of weight. Palms facing together. And off we go. So bring the weights down to the chest. Push your palms up. So we're tapping into those triceps down. Push. So make sure those dumbbells are touching. So you want to keep it together. All the way down. Elbows tucked in. Drive up. Yourself there. So into that press up to finish that round number one. So onto the ground, three, two, one, off we go. So again, down and up. Remember that chest is probably going to be on fire right now. So if you need to, drop to the knees. As I said before, further the knees are away, the harder it's going to be, a little bit more resistance. So if you need to, you can always walk them in. It does make it a little bit easier. Okay, fine, what's working for yourself? 10 more seconds. Come on, one more. Three, two, one, and relax there. So you grab that lighter weight choice. Straight into round two, that standing crossover. Getting two arms to make it a bit tougher. One arm if you need to drop it down. Let's go. So up, hold, down. Remember what we don't want to do? So you use that momentum. If we're doing that, we're not working. Keep that straight form, head and chest up, up, squeeze, and down, up, and down. Remember, we can go for that one arm when we come to the center, and we alternate between, a little bit less volume. Four, three, two, one, and relax. So second exercise, palms together, close grip press, lie yourself down, flat surface, three, two, one, off we go, so down, elbows tucked in, push, down, push. And relax. 
Wow. Oh, right then, last one. Last one of round two, one more round after this. So get ready. Three, two, one. Let's go into that push up. And again, you want that chest finish outside or inside those hands. Push up, down, and up. Trust my chest is feeling it. I've got to regress to those knees, but it's not an issue. You're just working to your ability. If you can still maintain on the toes, just go a little bit quicker. Go on, a couple more. And relax. Last one. So, back into those crossovers. Last 90 seconds of work. Three, two, one. Off we go. So up, down, up, down. Remember, it's important to keep that bend in that elbow. So not too much, so it's not like a bicep curl, but ever so slight bend as you come up, you know, squeeze the middle part of that chest. Again, two arms, you can do it together, or the one. Last few seconds. And relax, last two then. So close grip press up, or close grip press, sorry. Uh, the last minute, two, one, off we go. Sit down, push. If it's getting so tough that you can't maintain it with the two dumbbells, you can go for the one, so a half in that way. Go tuck it in, driving it up, or even further. You can grip it like so, bring it in even further, even closer, so like a spin press. So again, down, up. And relax. Last one then. Do as many push ups as you can to finish. Fatigue that chest. It's your last bit of today. Three, two, one. Let's go. Halfway. 15 more seconds. Come on, dig through, get the last few done, last five, four, three, two, one, and relax yourself there. Good stuff. So, and that is your quick fire 30 minute chest workout done. All right, so nice and simple, get a few stretches done, and you're pretty much set and ready. Do another workout if you want, whatever you've got planned. So, hands on that lower part of that back, Stick that chest forward. What you want to do is imagine you're getting those shoulders pinched together. So squeeze and hold. So just open up that chest. Woo. Good. And release that one there. We're going to take that right arm and we're bring it across and just hug it in. So just really hold and squeeze. So stick with that same arm, we're gonna take it out in front, palms up, grab the fingertips and pull in. So we're stretching through that forearm. So whenever you do weight-based training, forearms do take a hit, so it's important to stretch them out as well. So just hold that one there. So you've got your back and bicep workout coming up tomorrow. Of course, if you view this at a later date, it should already be obviously on there for you to view. Another 30 minutes, very similar layout. Relax, turn that left arm across. Again, use that right arm, squeeze it in. So more coming up. Friday, you've got core-based resistance training. And Saturday, it's more full body. So make sure of hit and that strength base to that arm out in front, arm up, grab the fingertips, pull them in, stretch that forearm. Okay, relax there, a little bit in those triceps today, so grab that right hand and put it between those shoulder blades, push that left elbow so we're just stretching through the back. So 
to last minute. Switch those arms over. Again, push or pull that other way. So just really get a good stretch in the back of that arm. Good, right, last one, back into what we did it again, hands in that lower part, stick it out, just try and get a little bit further with those shoulder blades, pinch them together. So thank you very much for joining me for today's chest and tricep workout again, 30 minutes. Always gonna be some view on the YouTube channel, plenty of other workouts to see you through as well. Don't forget to check Energy App for the live content from your regional trainers. Shake it off. You are done. Thank you very much. Have a good rest of your day. Take care.